guys? Welcome back. Uh, welcome to another account review. Actually, I was almost done recording. My PC just completely crashed. Um, so this is like a re-recording. But it's perfectly fine since I already know like what to say exactly. Um, this is Kuro Kono and he's currently level 45. I'm going to be going through his account and giving him some pointers on how to um, progress in the game. I did a few things on his account. I'm just going to talk about them right now. So currently, um, right now, he has his Water Mona, Water Miho. Um, they're both triple square. He's using two Water Monas and, and Water Miho to farm Golems V8 to get um, a lot of gold and astro gems. So you can see from his gems, most of his gems are square slots. He doesn't have any triangles, which means that he's not he hasn't been farming B9. But that's perfectly fine since a lot of his units don't really um, need the, the triangle gems. So uh, I was actually helping him build a B10 team. He has a he actually has quite a lot of the event monsters. He has the Seedlers. He has three Dark Seedlers. Um, the third third one doesn't have a square slot, which is a little bit unfortunate. But he has a few light Seedlers that he can use for like PvP and stuff in the future. Um, he has he has a Dark Gerudo, which is pretty nice, but it also doesn't have a square slot, which is a little bit sad. He is level 45, so he did actually pick up the the uh, the light Odin. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah, and he hasn't missed any of the events before, or the recent events. He has basically all the monsters that he needs from, from the previous events, um, including like the Yetis. I think his, this Light Mona is probably pulled from a Light Dark Scroll because um, this was a long time ago. Like This event was a long, long time ago. He probably would have had some other event monsters if he if he was playing since then. So I'm guessing this was probably pulled from a light dark scroll. Light Mona is actually pretty nice now since they they buffed her. Her defense is a lot higher. She's like defender type. Um, she's a pretty good solo tank for B10 if you wanna if you wanna use her for that. So yeah, I was going through um, some of some of his units and recommending a B10 team. Um, this B10 team is very very similar to what a lot of people are running. It's um, I would have liked to use some of his unique monsters, but since he already had some of these built. I would just use them as they are right now, and then um, in the future you can definitely switch them around. So he has his level um, max leader skill, master race water mona. Like this is this is the perfect water mona. Like it's uh, everything's right. This is this is perfect. Um, so this is this is the this is the the perfect water mona. Um, he also has a triple square slot water miho, which is excellent because he'll be able to gem these two monsters up um, really, really effectively. Now, the one thing I did on his account is, originally he had a protection set with like 3 star, 4 star gems over here that were maxed out. I overlapped them because um, he's going to be using this unit for B10. He's going to be using this light Nike for B10. And this is the price you pay for letting me on your account. I, I do whatever the fuck I want with it. Um, he happened to have one defense triangle gem, so I, I put this on and um, I overlap these two. Now this is perfectly fine because eventually he's going to be plus 15, like he's going to plus 15 these gems and he's not going to get better um, diamond or triangle gems since it's probably not in his game plan to, to do any more um, golems B7 or golems B, B9. He has pretty much everything he needs to progress straight into golems B10 so um, all he really needs right now is, is a lot more gold and um, a lot more fusion materials to fuse a whole bunch of water Nikes to get get this light Nike to to Evo three. Um, it's not it's not going to be too hard since he only needs eight more because his Nike is already Evo two plus two. So basically, all you need to do is farm um, eight more Beths and eight more Steelers on on uh, seabed caves and Mirage ruins, and then you need to farm. Uh, Wait, my math is so bad. You need to farm like 24 more Sirens on um, Aria Lake and 24 more Cocos on um, Phantom Forest, which will probably take a, take a little bit of time. Like You can probably do this in, in your next, um, next event, when the next event actually comes around. You can do it then. As of right now, I would recommend you um, keep farming gold in SP8. Just get as much gold as possible. Just keep, keep getting gold and then sliming and then getting gold and then sliming just keep repeating this process over and over for for the next little while until the next event launches whatever capture event it is and during the capture event you can go and farm the fusion material you need to raise your um, light nike to 
to uh, to six stars. Um, well, not six stars to evil three, and then eventually you want to six star everything. Um, she is already six star, so that's 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 actually pretty good. This water miho is also max skilled, so he doesn't need to spend any gold here, which is pretty good as well. So all he really needs to do is raise two more monsters to six stars. Um, and a lot more gold to plus 15 a lot of his gems. I think on average you need about like 2 million gold to take one gem to plus 15. Um, so yeah, that's like just from from level from plus 0 to plus 15. I think it takes around like 2 million gold or, gold or so. Um, the, the gem upgrade day, like it already passed. I think it only comes around once every two months. So they're probably not going to have one this month. Um, Meaning that you're probably just going to have to pay the full price for um, gem upgrades. Which isn't too bad since it's the only thing you really need to do to progress. You don't really need anything else. So uh, what you want to do is you want to run your... Um, if you if you can, um, if, you, if you're really lucky and you've, you finish your fusions for your light Nikes and happen to get one variant... Um, Light Nike, then definitely make her a variant and use her leader skill. This way, the fourth unit can benefit from the attack lead, um, wh whoever you're using. But if you can't, you can still use your Water Mona for the attack lead. And since Water Mona and Water Miho are both water, um, their their attack lead will benefit the both of them, since this this attack lead only works for water. But it is maxed out, so you will get you know 35%, the full 35%. Um, so that's actually not too bad. You don't really need to get a variant. It's not that important. You can use the the water Mona for the um, for the lead, and then um, run your Miho, run her for the solo light tank, and then for your fourth unit, there's a few units that you could use. Um, pretty much any light aggressor unit you can use. So like light Mona, light um, Sealer, light Odin, you can use. The other unit you can also use if you want to want to make your team like extremely stable is the Fire Sensei. Um, since you already happen to have one, you can actually gleam her, and then um, gleam her, and then feed her into into the into this one. Um, it might be pretty stable if you if you do something like that in the future. But um, as of right now, since you're since you're running a Water Mona and not two Sappers. Your wave clear, like when you're clearing through the waves, isn't going to be too difficult. You will be able to clear it relatively easily. So all you really need to do is um, is has, have a little bit more damage as well as um, possibly some sustain to make your team stable. So I think Light Odin probably is still still the best pick since you already picked her up. And she has pretty much all the right slots you need. She has no triangle. Um, you can probably get any HP gem. Just pick your best one put it here. And then find like two six star HP gems. See, um, you have two right here, so you also have one more here. Um, so that's perfectly fine. You have like a whole bunch of gems that you can choose from to, to max her out. So basically, I think I think she's probably the best pick. You just use her light Odin. Um, so just run water Mona, water Miho, um, light Nike, light Odin. This is pretty pretty basic. This is a extremely basic B10 team for anyone that's past level 45. That have picked up their um, Light Odin contract, you can use this team. This team will be pretty much 100% stable. Um, it will be probably under two minutes. Most of the, most of the runs should be under two minutes. It should be around two minutes. Um, maybe a, a minute and like 50 seconds or something like that. Should probably be like around your average time if you're running this team. Um, the other thing I want you to to uh, kind of watch out for is. Because you're going to be farming B8 for a, a long time, um, well, not maybe not like super long, but at least at least two to three weeks, you're going to be farming B8 pretty much nonstop. Um, you're going to be farming before the next event starts, and then during the event, you're going to you're going to be um, farming the materials for your light Nike, and then after the event ends, you're going to go back to B8 and farm until you have enough gold to do everything. Um, so. Pretty much what you want to do, the thing you want to watch out for is you don't necessarily want to upgrade all your gems to max right now because um, you might be getting a lot better gems while you're farming. So if you if your units can pretty much one-shot the waves, if, like if they're strong enough, then just stop upgrading your gems. You don't really need to upgrade them anymore. 
Um, you can take all the plus 9s to plus 12, but plus 12 to plus 15 is relatively expensive. So after you take everything to plus 12, if they're still not able to one-shot the waves, um, pick out a few gems that are like the best ones, and then just take those to plus 15, and, and then kind of stop there. And then while you're farming B8, you might come across better gems, because you're going to be farming B8 for quite a long time. It's pretty much guaranteed that you're going to get some better gems than the ones that you're currently using right now. So you don't necessarily want to upgrade the ones that are not... Um, that aren't the best to to max. Ideally, I would say you want to have like both of these guys on on like triple attack valor. Just has have as much attack as possible. Um, you just want like high high uh, reliable damage. You don't really need to necessarily um, rely on the crits. Just basically have as much attack as possible. And the only way you can really do that is if you go go with like a valor set. So if you can get them on like triple attack valor. That would be ideal, but that's not, it's not necessary and it's also not a requirement because, um, because your gems are already good enough for, for B10. Like, all the gems that you have now are already good enough for B10. All you really need to do is take them to plus 15 and, um, raise your units to 6 stars and you'll have a very, very stable B10 team. You actually maybe might not even need to, um, get her to evil 3. Since you're using two light units to tank, like, she's not going to be be under that much threat so basically just keep farming b8 right now max out all your gems or max out these gems and then um, get your light odin max out her uh her diamond gems since you're not going to be farming b7 any longer so basically you want to max out your odin gems your uh your nike gems you probably want to take all your plus nine gems to plus 12 just so you can farm b8 a little bit faster for right now and then after you max out these the, their, their gems. Um, you want to gleam her to evil 2, raise her to 6 stars. I would probably 6 star her first since you're using her already to farm B8. So just 6 star her and then 6 star your um, your light Odin and then use whatever gold you have to upgrade their gems to max. Afterwards um, afterwards you can you can attempt B10 at that point. Like At, at that point you can try, try to farm B10. If you're close or able to farm it then just upgrade your gems to plus 15. Upgrade your attack gems like on these two units. Just upgrade them to plus 15. Start farming B10 and um, wait for the next event to come around. Once the next event comes around, you go to the story maps and f farm a lot of fusion material for your Nike. Get her to Evil 3. And then you can either... If, this, if the uh, event is really, really good, then you can keep farming for the event. If not, then you can go back to farming B10 and then just get everything gemmed up. Um... Eventually what you want to do is you want to have like really really good gems on all your units and you want to take out the light Nike and just basically use your um, light Odin as solo tank but you, you kind of need a stronger attacker by then so probably you need to have like a like a max crit dark sealer um, preferably on like a preferably on like Valor or Ruin or something like that and then um, continue running your Miho and then run like two, two water Mihos or something. Yeah, I think Water Miho is still like the best sapper because she has skill books and all that. So, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for B10. If you want to progress into B10, that's the fastest way you can get into B10. Um, second thing is probably PvP. PvP, I would probably not focus until until you you finish B10 because after you finish B10 you'll be able to have access to triangle and a lot more triangle and diamond gems and you can jump up some of these other units that might not necessarily have the uh, you, you might not necessarily have the gems for right now um, a very easy way to climb very high on PvP is just use all aggressors like that's it's I, I know it's a pretty uh, it's pretty brain dead like you don't really have any special strategy or anything like that you're just stacking aggressors but it is relatively effective all you really need to do is you take uh take your light nike take uh something with a with a nice leader skill that works for pvp i don't even know is there an aggressor with a light nice leader skill Possibly an HP lead. Uh, if you can get a variant Odin, that would be perfect. 
Actually, after you gleam her, you can you can throw this water uh, this water Odin into her to make her two plus one. Maybe you have another Odin. No, you don't. Oh wait, the Steelers have resist lead. That's actually perfect. You just run like a run like a Steeler. Run like two Steelers, light Nike, and then like light Odin. And then for defense, you run a run another Steeler, and then that will be like. That'll be perfect because you're running like a full light team. It counters the the people running dark seedlers. Um, well, it doesn't necessarily counter them, but it's better than using like RGB teams against full full dark offense. If they come at you with other like dark aggressors, you're probably still gonna lose. Um, but it's still better than nothing. If they're running RGB teams against you, you'll still have a chance to win since your aggressors are relatively strong. If they're running full dark teams against you, um, if your luck is good, then you can still win. If you're running them on offense, like if you're running an like a defense aggressor team on offense, um, you can actually use your your fire sensing as well because she heals the defense aggressors quite a lot. So you just run, you just run like Seedler lead, um, like two light Nike, and then like run another Seedler and then run her. Or you can actually run your light Odin temporarily since you have her already at like six stars by that time. So you probably just run like Seedler, Nike, um, Odin, and Sensing. They'll probably work. Can do that for PvP. Um, for for clan PvP, you really just have to use whatever you can because you have to have like forty something units for that. Um, for Titans, you for Titans you have like some courageous strikers. Honestly, Titans is is pretty much a mess. You just want to have. Uh, I can't really build a Titans team for you right now because that that actually takes quite a long time, and also you need to have like some specific units. Um, I don't do Titans that much, but you do have some like courageous strike units that you you might want to focus on later on. Just try to get them gemmed up. What I do on a lot of my uh, what I like to do on a lot of my courageous strike units, like six star create or not six star, like nat five courageous strike units, is I just. I just get them to level 50 max level, and I slap on a decent set on them. This will probably be, be after your your finished farming B10, and they'll do a good job. Like you don't really need to have any um, anything unique on them. Just basically like go like attack, defense, HP, and then just like six star gems. Get them to like plus 12, and then just throw them into into titans, and they'll they'll still do more damage than like dark nukers at six stars, just because of how OP courageous strike is. You can do the same thing with your uh, debuffers, like uh, like this uh, Wood Siegfried. He actually got buffed last patch. His defense down is 80% for 3 turns, so that's actually pretty strong. But that is pretty much it. That is, uh, that's kind of it for this, this account review. It's pretty straightforward. Good luck on your, um, on your gem farming, fusion material catching. You don't need that much luck. I think it's pretty easy. Um, but anyways, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.